Not sure if you know already, but GNOME 45 is switching their default image viewer from the eye of GNOME to loop. And there are some places we can verify this change. Chino AI. Activate dramatic effect. Dramatic effect activated. So, is this change actually of any great importance? Hi hi! Because the default image viewer is one of those apps that we're rarely going to switch for another, as it perhaps happens with our audio player. It doesn't look like it matters much, and yet, this is one of those apps that we use more frequently than we might realize. Bottom line, as long as distros respect GNOME upstream, you're gonna looping a lot, and so, let's see what we gain and what we lose. Starting with the technology most obviously, with Loop using Rust and GTK4, while I of GNOME relies on GTK3 and CLang, in a code base that is 15 years old and not well maintained lately. Alright, let's put them side by side. Maybe? On Loop we can navigate with the floating buttons, or keyboard arrows, or gestures, and there is always an animation when in I of GNOME the transitions are done without any effects. That's also the case with zooms, and it's not like a critical functionality, but doesn't feel better when you have smooth movements. Now, both applications display the image properties with a sidebar. But on IF GNOME we have an extra window that shows lots of metadata, but without a very elegant way to be honest. On loop we can faster access the image info, which is nice, and nice is also the adaptive mode. But if we want to see advanced details, we need to open our image with some other application. Next, both applications provide a full screen mode. However, the eye of GNOME can put a slideshow in action when Loop simply can't. Actually, a slideshow and a few more items isn't within the scope of Loop, but I'll come back to that later. Then is the image rotation situation, that in loop we perhaps can rotate the image, but we can't save it. So again, we need to open it with another app. Ironically, we could open it with the eye of GNOME. Ha, ha, ha. Something not that funny though, is that the flat pack loop is failing to open some animated GIFs when everything works normally in the eye of GNOME. Basically Loop is using Glycine for image decoding, and more precisely, it's loading the image RS crate, so virtually it should support everything on that list. And speaking of loaders and decoders, Loop is capable of loading common big files fast enough, although if you are into telescopes imaging, probably Loop won't be what you really want. But perhaps when you face a new project, the most important ability to care about is the development activity. So, a year ago we had some designs illustrating basic editing capabilities to the image viewer, like the highly anticipated annotation tool. A year later, we can't even save the rotation. The point? There is a super huge gap between what GNOME visions and what GNOME delivers. To put it poetically, they had a dream, a vision bright, of what they could achieve and do. They worked so hard, with all their might, but fate was cruel, and dreams fell through. 